to the Changeling Hive. I told you I could do it. Well, not exactly straight, Starlight. We've been popping all around Equestria, and we still have to walk. It's like 12 steps away. Before Chrysalis's throne was destroyed, the closest magic would have gotten us was way over there. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy do you think Thorax is going to be about our surprise visit? Definitely 10. I mean, who wouldn't be happy at the chance to marvel at the overwhelming talent that is the great and powerful Trixie! Trixie, we're coming to offer Thorax encouragement and support. His letters make it seem like the responsibilities of being the changeling leader are a little overwhelming. Yeah, I know. That's basically what I said. He's dealing with the wants and needs of his subjects. Redesigning the hive, a dread Malworth wreaking havoc outside. It does sound like a lot, but are you sure that last thing is real? The dread Malworth? Sure it is. Thorax said it's like half bear, half mole, half raging pile of claws. But now that the changelings don't feed on the love of everything around them, plants have started to grow back. But this Malworth keeps eating them all up. Malworth. Uh-huh. You're just trying to scare me, but it won't work. Because not only am I the great and powerful, I am also the unscarable Trixie! Ah! Ah! <gasps> Please tell me Thorax also mentioned a terrifying looking changeling who greets visitors but is actually nice? Nope. And I'm not nice. <sighs> <laughs> You got us here. I'll take us home. Teleportation spell, go! Did I say this? No! My little pony, my little pony. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? What are you waiting for? Use some magic to get us out of here. Calm down, unscarable Trixie. We have to find out what's going on. Thorax might need our help. We need our help. Teleportation spell, go. Teleportation spell, go. Ah! Teleportation spell. Ugh. Why do you keep doing that? You know it doesn't work that way. I know, but this is my process. I captured these trespassers. Starlight, Trixie. It's okay, Pharynx. You can let them go. But they were lurking on our grounds. In the old days, I would have already feasted on their love. Well, that's why they're called the old days, because they're old. We don't do that anymore. Yeah, I like the old days better. What are you two doing here? We wanted to surprise you. Surprise! Well, it's great to see you. I'm sorry about the welcome committee. <laughs> I thought Ember helped you get more assertive, so you could deal with all the renegade changelings who didn't want to change. Oh, she did. Really helpful. I was able to convince all of them to change, except one of them. My brother. Your brother? Yep. Pharynx is my elder broodmaid. Oh, yeah. You guys have the same... eye shape? What a ridiculous comparison. We are nothing alike. <sighs> Stop doing that! The hide looked better with holes. Oh, well, how about I show you the rest of the hive, where it's less loud and bangy? There have been a lot of changes since you were here last. I'm trying to start some new activities, since the only thing we did before was hunt and patrol. There's theater. Swing dancing. A once-a-week potluck lunch? Ooh, and who can change shape and organize craft time? Hmm? This guy. I am really impressed, Thorax. The hive, all the activities. Go! 
He did it again. Farring stumped an entire can of black paint on me. He said my fuchsia color wasn't intimidating to our enemies. What enemies? I am so sorry. I promise I'll talk to him. You're the ruler of the hive, Thorax. You need to do more than talk. Well, maybe not everything here is amazing. Seriously, Thorax, what is up with your brother? Ugh. Pharynx used to be head of patrol, but now we're peaceful and there's no need to patrol, so he just stalks around the hive making everyone miserable. The other changelings are sick of it, and if I can't get him to accept love and friendship and change like the rest of us, everything I've done here is at risk. Uh-uh. Hmm? <sighs> uh-huh. We know a thing or two about what it's like to be outsiders. Maybe we could talk to him for you. Do you really think you could help? Thorax, if there's any pony who can help your brother, it's me. And with Starlight helping, it might take slightly longer, but I guarantee you we can do it. <sighs> Thorax, we're ready to start work on the trail of plants to lead the Mulwurf away. Oh, I have to head outside. You're sure you're okay handling Pharynx? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we totally got this. <laughs> How do you want to play this? I'm thinking good pony, bad pony. You yell and blast him with magic, while my natural charisma will convince him that... Uh, Starlight? Hey, Pharynx! I know when we first met, it, it didn't go so well. I put you in a bag. I thought it went great. Right. <clears throat> so, not a big fan of the vines, huh? They're a safety hazard. An enemy could hide in them or use them as weapons. I don't even know why they're here. Because they're pretty? That's ridiculous. Oh, totally. We get you. But maybe don't express how you feel by destroying them? I don't take advice from ponies. The only thing I take from you is breakfast. At least I used to. You know, you're a lot like us. Doubt it. It's true. Do you know who Twilight Sparkle is? No. Well, she's the most well-liked, studious, do-goodiest pony in Equestria. Ugh, she sounds awful. Oh, you'd hate her. I used to. She made me unsure about my place in the world, which led me to act out against her. And I used to be a dictator who ran a village with an iron hoof. Really? Hmm, maybe you two do understand me. Yes, we do! But now, Trixie has come to terms with being second best. And I no longer control ponies against their will. And our lives are so much better for it. Wow, so you're both losers. Stay away from me or I'll do to you what I did to the vines. Well, Operation Lead Maul Wharf Away is coming along. How'd it go with Pharynx? Your brother is, um, challenging. Oh, that bad, huh? It wasn't great. You want to talk it out? You can come with me to the Feelings Forum. The Feeling like what now? Oh, it's a place for changelings to express their feelings so we all gain a better understanding of each other. It's really helped bring the hive closer together. Sometimes I feel like I'm a blue changeling. Sometimes I feel like I'm a purple changeling. But here I am, a green one. You can be anything you want to be. Be blue one day and purple the next. Be both on the same day. But then I feel like I'd be living a lie. It's very brave of you to share something so personal. Does anyone else have similar concerns? I used to, but craft time has given me such a creative outlet, I feel great now. Uh -huh. Everyone loves craft time. I oh, know. I definitely. Yeah. Well, everyone except for you know who. Yeah, you know who spends all his craft time making spears. He's scary and intimidating. You know who makes me uncomfortable. He makes us all uncomfortable. Everyone, please. I understand Pharynx can be challenging at times. That's an understatement. He lined the hallway with thorns. He teaches little changelings to growl and hiss. My soup's too hot. What? 
I thought the Feelings Forum was for sharing our problems. It sounds like your lame Feelings Forum is for talking about me behind my back. The Feelings Forum is for talking about anything that's bothering you. Is there something you'd like to share, Pharynx? Actually, there is. The Changelings used to be a fearsome swarm. Now we sit around talking about our feelings so much, you can't even stop a malware from eating all your pretty plants. I could have sent that thing packing before, but I guess now we'll just try to lead it away and hope that keeps us safe. Uh, I don't feel safe with him around. I'd feel safer if he were gone. I can't do that. We, we are him finished! finished! No, 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 Hey, my soup's cooled down. These feeling forms are great for solving problems. Everyone, please. If we are interrupting each other, we are not affirming each other. No, that's it! Feelings Forum is over! I. I want to say something. But it goes against everything I've been taught as Twilight's pupil. Ooh, then by all means, say it. <sighs> I think Pharynx is a lost cause. Mm, I'm all for second chances. Third even. But he just seems like a bad bug. And Thorax has a duty to the whole Hive, not just his brother. If he keeps sticking up for Pharynx, the Hive might decide they don't want Thorax as their leader. I think he might have to kick Pharynx out. But I don't want to be the one to tell Thorax that. Me neither. But some pony probably should. I nominate you. Ugh. Thorax, we have something to tell you. It's about Pharynx, isn't it? Maybe? Look, I know he's an aggressive warrior type, but when I was little, every young changeling wanted to be like that. Every young changeling except me. The others would pick on me for not wanting to fight. Look at the little grub playing with his dollies. <laughs> Step away from my brother. But Pharynx never let them hurt me. <laughs> we were just complimenting his dollies. <laughs> Thanks, Pharynx. Why are you hitting yourself? Well, stop hitting yourself! Why are you hitting yourself? Uh, ouch! Now cut it out, Pharynx. They're right, you know. You need to have tougher skin. Aw, that was a really sweet story. Until the end. I know Pharynx loved me, in his own way. And I know there's still good in him. And that's why I keep sticking up for him. Anyway, what did you want to talk to me about? Me? Oh, no, but uh, Starlight has something she... Actually, Thorax, um, never mind. Come on, Trixie, we've got a thing to do. What are you doing? I thought we agreed you'd tell Thorax he had to kick his brother out of the hive. Maybe we don't have to. Get Pharynx and meet me at the hive entrance. I'll explain everything. And how am I supposed to know where Pharynx is? I just saw Pharynx. Oh, well that was easy. <laughs> We'll just use one problem to solve another. I switched the trail of plants around to lure the Malwurf here. The changelings may not be able to stop it anymore, but Pharynx certainly can. When it attacks, he'll save his brother, showing every pony his good side. The others will accept him, and Pharynx will finally let love and friendship into his life and transform. <sighs> wow. I know, right? Great idea. Where's Pharynx? He's gone. Gone like gone to the throne room? Gone like gone. One of the changelings said Pharynx left the hive for good. <laughs> <laughs> and who's gonna stop the dread Malwurf I'm leading here? <laughs> Thorax, there you are. Pharynx is missing.
amazing. <laughs> Wait for it. Then the Dread Maulwurf is coming this way. <laughs> Told ya. That doesn't make any sense. The trail of plants should have led the Dread Maulwurf away. <laughs> I might have relayed them to lead it back toward the hive. Why would you do that? I thought if Pharynx saw you were in danger, the loving, caring side of him would come out when he protected you. But instead, he's out there alone, somewhere between us and that rampaging monster? I have to save him. I'm coming with you. Of course you are. This is all your fault. Oh, don't be too hard on Starlight. Her heart was in the right place. You're coming too. Oh, right. I mean, I was gonna volunteer anyway. Who else is coming? Uh, fine. Oh, sure. You could all stay here, not help Pharynx, and he won't bother you anymore. It's your choice. But remember when you didn't have a choice, when you were forced to obey Chrysalis. You might have been unstoppable, but you weren't free to choose. And now you are, because of Thorax. Well, it's his brother out there. And now it's your chance to prove you're just as strong, embracing love as you were feeding on it. Now is your chance to show what changelings can really be. Not because you have to, but because you choose to! That was an amazingly epic speech, Starlight. I just can't believe not a single changeling was moved by it. I can't blame them. If he wasn't my brother, I don't think I'd be here. We're gonna have to face the Maul Wharf by ourselves. Maybe it'll be long gone and we'll find Pharynx out here alone. <laughs> or maybe not. Pharynx! What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Get out of here! Let me handle this! We're not leaving you! Uh, I may have forgot to mention in my letters that Maul Wharfs have really thick hides. I thought you said you could beat this thing! Yeah, with the rest of the swarm! Not alone! Good thing you're not alone! I told you it was an epic speech. <laughs> it's no use. We're out of practice and he's too tough. Too bad we can't get it to fight itself. That's it! Thorax, remember when we were young and I made you hit yourself? Now is not the time to make fun of me, Pharynx. Oh, right! Of course! Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Yeah, Malwar, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Huh? 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 That looks like it hurts. We did it! It's gone! What were you doing out here? Leaving. I'm done with all of you. Oh. It's just, why bother fighting the Maw Wharf then? You could have left it alone. Well, I couldn't just let it attack you. But I thought you were done with us and you didn't care. I never said that. The Hive is the thing I care about most. Well, you certainly don't act like it. Well, I'm sorry if I don't get excited about pretty flowers and feeling circles and... It's a feelings form. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Even if I do care about the Hive, I obviously don't have a place there anymore. Actually, you do. And because we've been wrong, um, the Hive may be a gentler, nicer place. But that doesn't mean we won't have to defend ourselves. Clearly. And who better to help us do that than the only changeling who never stopped protecting us? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
You all want me to stay? Unless you still want to leave the hive. Why would I want that? I love the hive. He did it! He transformed! I always knew you had it in you. Really? Because I thought you said I was a lost cause and you were going to tell Thorax he should kick me out. Oh, Starlight! How could you say that? Uh, what? That's... I mean... But you... Lucky for us, you weren't a lost cause. Lucky for me, you didn't give up on me. <laughs> so... Glad everything worked out. Yeah! Let's talk about how you not only led the Maw Wharf to the Hive, but also drove my brother away from it. I am so sorry about that. But I would like to point out that my admittedly terrible plan did bring everything together in the end. <laughs> hey, do you guys want to hear the story about how I used to make Thorax hit himself? Oh, absolutely, yes. Right now. Well, when we were young, every changeling wanted to be a warrior. Except for Thorax. He was a little... I had to...